What's going on guys, my name is Karin, and today I'm going to you guys on the Dior Saddlebag. So this is going to be one of the most popular variations of this bag, is the Black Oblique Jackyard. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag and going over if I think it's a good purchase or not. So if you guys enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it really, really helps out my channel and gets my videos shown to more people. And while you're at it, make sure to claim your four free socks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you got to do is sign up, you get two socks for free, and you get another two once you make your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. Alright guys, so just before I take it out of the dust bag, I just want to go over a couple things. First off being that this is in stock on Dior's website for $2,900, a little bit over $3,000 after tax and shipping is included. But this bag is holding its value really, really well. If you guys go ahead and look on StockX, the most recent sale was about $2,930. So some of you guys might be considering this bag, but are a little bit worried because it's so expensive, which totally makes sense. It's a very, very expensive bag. But keep in mind that it is holding its value very, very well. And you guys have the option to sell it online at different marketplaces. Or if you guys just change your mind after purchasing it, you can sell on StockX for about the same amount that you bought it for. And there are going to be multiple variations of this bag. The most popular variations being the ones with the oblique canvas, which this one is. There's a black oblique canvas and a white one. Some prefer the white, some prefer the black, but they both go for about the same amount. And there are other ones without the Dior all over it that are going to go for a little bit less. But taking a look at the dust bag, you guys can see it's pretty simple, pretty minimal. You guys can see the black all over as well as the reflective Dior right here. Nothing's going to be on the back and you guys are just going to be able to open it up from the top. So taking it out, you guys will just have the saddle bag right here. I'll give you guys a good look at it. As you guys can see, we'll say Dior all over it with the two little things hanging out right here. It's magnetic right here. If you turn it around, it's just going to have the same canvas on the back. As you guys can see, you guys can obviously see the strap right here. And if you look at the inside and outside of it, it will say Christian Dior all over it. The little buckle is really cool and very signature to Dior. And yeah, it's definitely a really good looking bag. But getting into the details of the bag, you guys should probably know that this bag is going to be 20 centimeters by 29 centimeters by five centimeters. So it's definitely very sizey and you guys will have absolutely no issue carrying whatever you need. As long as it's a smaller accessory, such as a wallet, maybe even a book. You guys can obviously fit a t-shirt, your phone, whatever else, as long as it's not too much, it's not really a bag for overnight trips, but for any daily trip where you're gonna need to bring a little bit of stuff that you guys wouldn't regularly be able to hold in a pocket or some of the smaller messenger bags, this one is pretty sizey. And this Dior canvas that you guys are going to be able to see all over the back is going to make it worth more than the saddlebags without. This is not the only one with this canvas all over. There's one that's also white. But in my opinion, this is the best one because it has that Dior signature all over. But it's also black, so it goes with pretty much every outfit that you might be wearing. But opening it up, you guys can see the magnetic lock right here. You're just going to pop it open if I can. And then you guys will have the little zipper right here, which I'll open up right now. And you guys will just have this one big pocket to hold whatever you need. If you guys look closely, you'll have Dior embossed right there. And what I hold in here currently as I store it is the little Dior card right here with the authentication on it. Whenever you guys purchase something from Dior, they give you an authentication card. Be a little bit hesitant purchasing something like this if it doesn't have it, because most of the people that are purchasing stuff like this know that you should keep the authentication card because it helps hold value and it gives that mental clarity to other people that might be purchasing it second hand. Setting that to the side, you guys will have the Dior booklet right here, which I can pop out with one hand because I'm used to making these videos with one hand. And you guys can see right here, say Dior on it. And then it'll just have a little bit of stuff. A lot of it isn't gonna be in English as you guys can kind of see, but it's a nice little booklet. If you guys wanna go ahead and pause and check it out, you guys are welcome to. Um, only the very front part is going to be in English, but setting that to the side, I want to go over a couple more of the details of this bag. Another one being that this strap is completely adjustable as you guys can see right here. So depending on how tall, short, thick, whatever you might be, you guys can get this to fit around your body. Keep in mind this is a messenger bag or a shoulder bag. So you're not really gonna be wearing this around your waist. You're not really gonna wear it over one arm. It's meant to be a bag that is worn across your body, 
but you can obviously alternate and maybe put over your shoulder if you're a girl but they do have saddlebags specifically for the shoulder which are the basically the saddlebags for girls so keep in mind that if you like this look but you want to wear it over one shoulder then buy the one for girls but if you like the ones that are across the body this one's going to have a longer thicker strap that is meant to be wore across the body and then one of the small little features about this bag that i really really like is the little buckle right here for those of you guys who don't know this is really signature to dior um every single thing that's saddle there are things that are saddle other than this messenger bag including backpacks and the saddle messenger bags or the pouches um, but they all have this buckle right here even the belt and for those of you guys who are a bit newer to Dior or don't really follow it, the belts are super cool and a lot of people do not have them. So if you guys are looking to start a little trend between you and your little hype beast friends, feel free to buy one of the belts because in my opinion, they're like um, a better version of the off-white belts. But you guys can just see how cool it looks. I can unbutton it. I can unbuckle it with one hand like that. You're just going to squeeze the edges. And it's just a super cool little feature that I really like and that I really like Dior did something different than most other brands by adding a buckle that's signature to them. But yeah, it's just something that I really like and that a lot of people don't notice. But yeah, it's definitely a good looking bag and definitely very different than a lot of the other competing messenger bags. I guess this is kind of considered a messenger bag. Um, and if you, some of you guys might be considering a Louis Vuitton one, a Gucci one, or maybe a Dior one, in my opinion, I'm gonna say this right now just before I try on this bag, Dior is going to appreciate and a lot of people are going to want Dior over Louis Vuitton and Gucci in the near future because just like Goyard, Dior has done some awesome things in their recent collections and they're starting to trend very well and the prices are going up because just a few years ago, Dior was not going for anywhere near their retail cost in the aftermarket. So seeing that now this bag is going for the same amount that it did at retail goes to show that this bag is getting more and more popular and Dior is becoming more and more in demand. But for those of you guys who want to see how it looks on, obviously you guys can see it here. There are four main ways of wearing it and I'm gonna show you guys them all in this video. But here's probably the most popular way of wearing it. Some people wear it more towards the front or the side right here or right here where it's a little bit sideways. Um, and yeah, this is kind of like the look for it. It's definitely different than most messengers, especially because of the shape. But a lot of people like to wear it like this or they like to wear it like this. So you guys can see it's not going to be horizontal at all. It's going to be very vertical. And I see most people actually wearing it like this. When I look online, I see people wearing it the other way. But when I see people in person, almost every single time they've worn it like this. Um, that makes it very, very easy to open, unzip, put whatever you need, get it out. Um, and it's definitely a very functional way of wearing it and probably the most functional way of wearing it if you guys are going to need to go in and out of your bag. But in my opinion, this isn't necessarily how I wear it. I really like wearing this bag around the back. So I'll show you guys how that looks now. And you guys can see how it looks now. It definitely looks very different than most messenger bags. Um, and I know I mentioned that before, but even around the back, just the shape of the bag is very, very different. Um, I really like how subtle yet if you know you know it is um, and that's exactly what the jackyard dior canvas does and that's why it goes for a lot more than like i said the canvas that won't say dior all over it but yeah i definitely really like it um, i definitely think that this is probably my favorite way in wearing it obviously you can wear it the other way around like this around the back um, if you guys can see that where it's a little bit more vertical rather than horizontal um, but yeah, it's, it's all your pick. It's all what you guys want. Um, but I did bring something to kind of show you guys what the size is like. So you guys can see how it looks right here. Here is the more popular Louis Vuitton Avenue sling bag. So just in comparison, so you guys can see the size difference, they are about the same. This one's going to be a little bit bigger, um, and also more popular, but yeah, let me know what you guys think between these ones. I definitely think this is a really good bag. I'll set this back to the side. But I also want to tell you guys that this bag is going to be made in Italy. You guys are welcome to go on the site to verify that, but it shouldn't be made in any other place. If you guys see Mexico, China, US, be a little bit suspicious and do a little bit of research because I have not seen it made there. And even when I wanted to confirm on the site, it clarified for me that it is made in Italy. And so final verdict of this bag, I think that if it wasn't holding value as good as it is now, then I might have second thoughts about buying it. For those of you guys who are on the fence about buying it, 
buy it now while the market is hot in my opinion because right now if you change your mind about it and you guys decide to sell you guys will have no issue selling it. you guys you guys can sell it to me if you want just dm me on instagram at connor.langley if you want to buy this or you want to buy the avenue sling i sell pretty much everything that i show you guys i basically buy review sell and that's pretty much what i do i also do real estate but this is what i do as far as youtube so let me know what you guys think do you, how do you guys think this compares to the louis vuitton avenue sling which is obviously a lot more popular uh, but it also retails for a lot less the infinite leather which i just showed you guys is going to go for a bit more than the regular uh damier sling but if you guys are comparing the classic damier louis vuitton sling to this one this is going to be almost double the cost or it actually is exactly double plus or minus about a hundred dollars so let me know what you guys think is it worth the hefty twenty nine hundred dollar price tag is it not um, you guys see Dior going up in the future as far as hype and demand because I personally do. I see it with Dior as well as Goyard. I see them being the next Gucci and Louis Vuittons in my opinion, but that might be an unpopular opinion. You guys can definitely let me know in the comments and also let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. I'm happy to bring you guys the videos that you guys want to see. You guys just got a request and I hope that you guys can kind of see the effort that I'm putting into these videos to kind of bring you guys what you want. So if you guys could please like and subscribe and also comment if you guys feel inclined to. It would mean the world to me and it would also really help on my channel. As you guys can see, I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers, which I really do appreciate your guys' support so far. And I'm gonna continue bringing these videos and keep trying to improve and improve and improve to bring you guys the craziest hype and designer videos on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.